Hi there, it's Kaylin, and welcome to another video in the Too Many Cards series that Emily Leaphart and I created. Today we're working with Winnie and Walter stamps and dies. We're using the In Bloom Ashley's Rosie Posies stamp set with the coordinating die set. So first I'm going to take some of my favorite watercolor paper, the Strathmore watercolor paper, and I trimmed it down to be smaller than a card front, so a little smaller than four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to use the ink smooshing technique where you take any kind of ink and just kind of press it down on a smooth surface. You can use a plastic bag or I just use this piece of acetate. And then you spray it with a spray bottle or sprinkle some water on it. And then you literally just smoosh it down onto your watercolor paper and it creates a really nice, organic, interesting texture for a card background. Now that my background is done, I'm just going to set that aside and let it dry. Now I'm going to take the coordinating dies and I'm going to punch a bunch of these out just using some white cardstock. So I just punched out all of the flowers. I did two of each size and then I did the same with a bunch of the leaves, which I'll show later. So for the flowers, I'm going to be using a combination of three inks. I'm going to use um, some Ranger Festive Berries ink, some Sweet Blush ink from Paper Tray ink, and some Fresh Peach ink from Hero Arts. Because these stamps all come using three layers or sometimes two layers, um, I picked three ink colors that I could kind of um, use as a gradient and make my flowers look really nice and dimensional. So here I'm just taking the outline that goes with this particular die cut and first stamped the base in some sweet blush ink, then doing the middle part in the fresh peach ink, and then I'm going to do the final part in the deepest color, which is the festive berries ink. Now I'm taking the outline and some black soot distress ink and just stamping that down on each flower to give it that um, dark outline. And mine didn't exactly line up with um, the previous stamping that I did. I probably could have been a little bit more careful with this, but it still looks nice and organic and it doesn't really need to be that precise. Um, in fact, these background stamps that I'm stamping now on this medium flower, they don't perfectly line up with the die cuts and that's on purpose. They're just supposed to look kind of whimsical and um, like colored outside the lines almost so um, I was kind of looking around to see how exactly they fit but they really don't fit perfectly they're just kind of supposed to be like that um, so here I am just repeating the same steps for every uh, base color I'm using the sweet blush and then the middle colors I'm using peach and then the darkest colors festive berries and then for the outline, just using black on each one of these. with these flowers I could have done a better job lining up um, that initial background stamp and then the black outline I definitely did upside down on the first one but I got it on the second one so um, I think I just ended up not using that first one that I kind of messed up.
Now getting into stamping some of the leaves. So I'm using soft olive ink from Hero Arts to do the base of my leaves. And then I'm going to use some peeled paint ink from Ranger as the um, kind of darker parts of the leaves that add a little bit of shadow. And then just like the flower parts, I'm using uh, black soot for the outline. While I decided to do mostly green leaves, I also wanted to bring in some of that aqua, aqua mist color that we used on the um, smooshed ink background. So here I'm just using aqua mist as this leaf base with a little bit of Hawaiian Shores ink from Paper Tray as well as that darker kind of accent. As you can see, there are so many pieces to this stamp set, which just makes it really awesome. You can do so many different things with it and you can really customize the colors you use for all of the different stamped layers. And then there are just so many different flower types and so many different leaf types that you could make just any kind of card you wanted. You could make really intricate backgrounds with this stamp set um, and just a lot of really nice embellishments too. Now I've die cut out the die that coordinates with the beautiful sentiment. So I just did the same thing as the flowers, die cut that out in white and then stamped the sentiment down in black soot ink. Now I'm taking my background piece that's all dried and taking my favorite adhesive, the Tombow Mono Multi Glue and just gluing that down in the center of a cream based card. So now I'm taking that middle part of the sentiment, the beautiful part, and there are a bunch of different um, words that coordinate with this, so you can really customize your sentiment. So I chose to do your beautiful inside and out. So I just placed my die cut in the center of my card to get an idea of where I wanted to stamp the other parts of my sentiment, and then just stamp those down using black soot ink directly on the watercolor background. Now that all of my stamping is done, I'm just taking the biggest flowers in my little collection and gluing those down first since I know that um, I'll want those to be kind of the layer, the first layer, and then I'm going to build on top of those. So taking the biggest flowers first, and then I got the rest of my pieces and wanted to glue leaves down next since I wanted some of the smaller flowers to cover those up a bit. So now you just see me kind of gluing down a bunch of leaves and flowers on top of them. I didn't really plan this out. I knew I wanted um, that upper left section and the bottom right section to be covered and then I was gonna leave the other two corners empty. So I just kind of um, glued my leaves down approximately where I thought they would look nice and where they would be covered up by the other stamped flowers. and as always using my quick stick to help me um, pick up those tiny pieces. Now I'm just taking some foam squares and adhering a couple of flowers down with those to give it a little bit of dimension. Next, I took some pink 
curls and decided to adhere those down as well so these are pretty old they're from basic gray and I've just been holding on to them for so long but you can definitely find um, either white pearls or pink pearls that would work for your card too so I'm just taking some tweezers for those really tiny ones and placing those kind of randomly um, among my flowers then taking some Queen and Company pink rhinestones and doing the same thing with those. I really like the combination of pearls and rhinestones together. It just gives really nice texture and shine. And that's going to finish off the card. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to check out Emily's video, which I will have linked below, as well as all of the supplies that I used and links to the Winnie and Walter stamp set. And don't forget to enter the giveaway to win a $25 gift card to Winnie and Walter. And as always, be sure to subscribe to catch my latest crafty videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching.